he then created the chief demigods who were shining with the glory of goodness he dropped before them the effulgent form of daytime and the demigods sportingly took possession of it so here summary in these three verses we are seeing that previously also we saw yakshas and rakshasas were created by brahma now here he is creating the demigods he has created and uh, proper explains in the purport that they are born in the quality of born of the quality of goodness whereas the demons are born of the quality of ignorance so the primary difference between demons and demigods is acceptance of scriptures or shastra in 16th chapter of bhagavad gita there is a description of divine and demonic natures right the chapter title also like that so there proper explains that the one who does not follow the regulative principles as they are laid down in the scriptures and who acts according to his whims is called demoniac or asuric there is no other criterion but obedience to the regulative principles of scriptures it is mentioned in the vedic literature that both the demigods and the demons are born of the prajapati the only difference is that one class obeys the vedic injunctions and the other does not so the primary difference between them is obedience and previous to this verse lord krishna is explaining six demoniac qualities first quality itself is arrogance so arrogance is characterized by disobedience right so one one who is uh, arrogant in nature so how do we know who is called arrogant one who does not obey any authority right whether authority of the state authority of the scriptures authority of the you know wherever he is that institution organization wherever he is like school authority somebody doesn't obey traffic rules government authority somebody doesn't obey scriptural authority like scriptures has some rules and regulations doesn't obey so that is this arrogance so lord krishna is telling dambo darpo vimanascha krodha parushya mevacha so agyanam chabi jatasya partha sampada masuram arrogance pride anger conceit harshness and ignorance these qualities belong to those of demoniac nature o son of pratha so first itself is this arrogance because as as long as arrogance is there the person then arrogance will lead to pride that that self confidence which comes upon a person i am right what i am thinking is right things should be like this right so this is defying or denying the authority of scriptures right so purport of uh, this fourth verse in this verse the royal road to hell is described so this is raj marg correct like we have highway this is royal way to hell is described and proper says these demoniac qualities are taken on by them from the beginning of their bodies in the wombs of their mothers and as they grow they manifest all these inauspicious qualities right so a person based on his modes whatever modes of nature he is in right he manifests these qualities so sometimes people say bacche bhagwan ka roop hote hain correct but it's it's not a fact bin laden was bin laden from his childhood he did not have capacity to hold a bomb but when he grew his senses became strong enough he did it. so here proper is telling very clearly the demonic qualities are taken on by them from the beginning of their bodies in the wombs of their mothers so even before he is born he is born of the demonic nature that nature is inherent that nature is carried by subtle body correct so soul when he is carrying the subtle body what all gunas the influence of gunas he is carrying what consciousness he is carrying that uh, consciousness comes and manifests into a body and when the body becomes suitable enough to exhibit actions he will do demonic actions so first first itself when we see demonic nature that is this arrogance 
now even it's very easy when we read bhagavatam this part the demons were created demigods were created so very easy to differentiate okay there were a category of people who are created as demigods there's a category of people who are created as demons right but but it's not that there is one class demons and one class demigods both the qualities are there like every person in this world is influenced by three modes correct right? all the three modes are there but which mode is dominant like lord krishna tells in 14th chapter there is a constant competition right between the three modes in expressing their superiority sometimes sattva guna dominates and other two gunas will be subsided so person will act in sattva guna that doesn't mean he doesn't have rajaguna tamaguna he has but at this moment sattva guna is prominent so sattva guna is pushing this person to act in that way then sometimes rajaguna will dominate over the other two gunas so he has other two gunas but when rajaguna is dominating the person will act in that particular way and sometimes tamaguna dominates right over other two gunas so all the three gunas are there but primarily in one's character in one's nature which guna is dominant that decides what category of person he is he is a divine person he is a demoniac person or he is a you know inter- intermediate like humans are considered to be uh, madhya tishtanti rajasa so when it comes to demons and uh, devatas very easy to distinguish when it comes to humans right all the three gunas are there and good mixture is there then one should see out of the six qualities how many qualities are there in our nature and then we can understand how much even though on the path of devotion service we are in demoniac mentality so very interestingly this ignorance or the demoniac nature is explained by lord kapila in third canto so he says devotion service is done in three modes he talks about pure devotion service also before that he tells people under influence of tamoguna how do they do devotion service people under the influence of rajoguna how do they do devotion service and people under the influence of satoguna how do they do devotion service so devotional service executed by a person who is envious proud violent and angry and who is a separatist is considered to be in the mode of darkness so this is a demoniac nature right so such people also do devotional service but how do they do so w- what is their uh, inherent nature with which they are doing devotional service first is envious they are not satisfied with whatever comes on its own accord they are always comparing with others and becoming envious of others achievements other success or whatever others are doing so this is first theek hai envious then when they have something less than others they become envious then again they start comparing then when they have something better than others they become proud so their devotion service is not krishna conscious that is others conscious they are conscious of others इसको क्या है इसके पास क्या है वॉट इज इ डूइंग वॉट इज नॉट डूइंग वॉट ही हैज गॉट वॉट ही हैज एन गॉट एंड एवरी थिंग गोज ऑन इन दिस मोड सो फर्स्ट इज एनवियस एंड सेकेंड इज प्राउड देन थर्ड इज वायलेंट सो अननेसरी वायलेंस सो प्रोबाद एक्सप्रेंस इट इंक्लूड्स मेनी थिंग्स वायलेंस मीन्स ऑब्सट्रक्टिंग अदर स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस ऑल्सो इज वायलेंस राइट एंड डूइंग फिजिकल वायलेंस टू अदर लिविंग इन इट इज ऑल्सो वायलेंस then he is angry for small small reasons so anger means no tolerance demons do not have tolerance for small small provocation they go attack right so they don't have tolerance they don't have understanding they don't have uh, temperament of adjusting to the situation for anything they retaliate quickly they retaliate so this is that anger now another important word here used is separatist separatist is very important in devotion service because a rajaguna also is separatist and a tamaguna is also separatist separatist means what what the convention is being followed he wants to do something separate than that he wants to do something other than that right 
having own independent idea having own independent approach having own independent you know tangent uh, process of work so not consulting the authority not taking uh, approval of the authority but going on a separate path so this is called separatist like i will create my own mantra i will create my own process you know i'll invent some new thing and implement so this separatist is the separatist mentality or separatist idea is the root cause of our slow progress or hampered progress in devotional life devotional life means completely aligning our mindset with krishna's mindset guru's mindset learning understanding accepting what is being told right then following it so here lord kapila is mentioning that a person practicing in devo- devotional service in tamoguna is also separatist and then rajoguna also he says the worship of deities in the temple by a separatist with a motive of material enjoyment fame and opulence is devotion in the mood of mode of passion so even these things are sought after by uh, demons so again we'll come to this part uh, chapter 4 uh, sorry chapter 16 shloka 4 arrogance pride anger we are seeing all these things here also conceit harshness and ignorance so this conceit means having high self esteem about oneself right and expecting others to regard you know in in 16 chapter very interestingly there are certain qualities of divine nature one of those is nati manita nati manita means ati manita ati manita means thinking oneself to be very great and oh i am this i am that you know some having some self esteem high self esteem undue self esteem and undue pride so ati manita means ati means too much manita matlab considering you know i am this you no know, everything everybody should listen to me i have this idea i have this idea i am like this i have achieved this much all those things then nati manita means one should not have this kind of mood and exactly opposite of this is these demons so when good counsel is given with the, uh, those who have having conceit when good counsel is given they don't pay heed to it they don't accept that good counsel so now when we are seeing that brahma created demons all these demonic qualities are in them this category of people whom brahma has created as demons no good counsel no good advice nothing will work for them that's why lord has to say that vinashaya cha dushkritam i have to come to destroy these isn't it paitana sadhunam so those who are innocent they will accept innocent people will accept innocent people will follow but those who are not innocent and who, who are in ignorance that is envious of lord lord has to come they are demoniac they have conceit like if you give good milk to a serpent its venom will increase and it will come and bite with that same venom if you give good advice to a demoniac person his anger will increase and he'll come and attack with same anger we give good then it will increase his venom and with that venom only he'll attack us so that's why bhagavatam says saintly persons take pleasure in killing serpents and scorpions is there no yes so point is point is demonic nature is such a nature that no good advice works and they are always driven by this conceit harshness ignorance pride anger and arrogance so when now we are discussing about brahma he created they are so i mean they are so downtrodden that they are attacking their own father and in such a shameful in such a disgusting way they are attacking their own father brahma who was first uh, smiling that he thought okay you know the children and they are some this ignorant beings but he didn't know they are dangerous beings correct so when brahma realizes so brahma says he is seeking protection he is running away the worshipful brahma first laughed at their stupidity but finding the shameless asuras close upon him he grew indignant and ran in great haste out of fear so those who brahma who has created them they don't have any gratitude they don't have any 
फीलिंग ऑफ ऑब्लिगेशन सर्विस सरेंडर नथिंग राधर दे आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लॉयट द क्रिएटर इट सेल्फ सो दिस इज द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल डिमोनिक मेंटेलिटी नाउ फर्दर वील सी दैट हाउ ही अप्रोचेज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड एंड टेक्स शेल्टर सो विल स्टॉप हियर टूडे अर्ली बिकॉज वी हैव प्रोग्राम सो ग्रंथ श्रीमद भागवतम की जय श्रीमद की जय